this is the next AR video demonstrating how to fit our replacement bushes for the swell flap operating rod on the Pierberg intake manifold. Uh, this is fitted to a number of vehicles including the Vauxhall, Saab, Fiat and Alfa Romeo and 1.9 diesel engines. Um, the operating rod um, pops off um, due to a pair of part wearing down which we'll show you in a minute. Um, it causes a number of vehicle symptoms including a smoking engine, lack of power, engine management light possibly on, um, high fuel consumption and all manner of problems. Um, we'll now show you um, the issue and how to resolve it by fitting our parts. It's a very common issue that the swell flap operating rod wears and pops off and you'll often find it sat on top of the manifold like this. Obviously the swells will not be operating. Um, this is just plastic you'll see inside here um, operating on the metal ball joint there. Um, it wears down and just leaves to it, leads to it popping off which causes a number of vehicle faults as outlined earlier. The first step in repairing the swell flap operating rod is to remove the worn plastic parts. Um, tend not to do this in a vice as you don't want to bend the rod out of shape. Um, you can do this with cutting tools, um, just some hand pliers like this and cutting away at the plastic. Or An easy method is to use a Dremel and to cut away at the plastic parts. Once finished removing all the worn plastic parts, um, you might find some remnants in the hole, so just drill through those um, and get rid of the remains of the plastic parts. Um, once all the plastic's been removed, you can see through all of the holes. And now, see how this is orientated? See this shape here? On this uh, hole here, we want we want to add a, a countersink um, so that we could add a countersink uh, screw just so it sits flush to this rod. Um, there's not much clearance on this part uh, when refitted to the manifold, so this is necessary to stop the rod catching. Put the rod into a vise, um, make sure it's level with the top of the vise. We want to be very careful at this stage we don't bend the rod, um, put it out of shape. This bolt here, we want to add the countersink. Just add a reasonable amount of pressure on this. Um, this keep, what you can do is you can take the screw from the bush, just to remove that and test it in that hole. Just keep testing it till it's enough so that the screw sits flush at the top of the rod. Keep drilling the countersink, um, just slowly in increments and keep testing the screw until it sits as it does here, so it sits flat with the rod. We can now go about fitting our replacement bushes. Start from this end. So just push this through the hole in the rod. Like that. If you have any difficulty getting it through the hole, you can just open this hole up a little bit. A drill piece. Once in there. We'll leave, leave this one for the moment as this is the countersink. There we go. Just fit the countersink one where it should be. Just add a little bit of Loctite to the countersink bolt. Get that through the recess. use a screwdriver to tighten that up. Add some thread lock to each of the bolts and then we can just tighten up these bushes. Ensure that the locking washer is installed under each bolt. As you can see there, we don't want it underneath the rod as it won't be um, working as it should. Um, tighten up all the bolts and then we can go about refitting it to the manifold. Here we can see the rod refitted on the manifold, just on the bench, just to show you how it works. Um, you can see here, the rod's operating as it should. That concludes our guide of how to fit our bushes. Um, there's plenty more information on our website. Um, if you need any more uh, details or have any questions, you can contact us on 01843 
446643 or you can email us at sales at xatar.co.uk. Thank you.